you've suffered from disassociation or body gunk, please tap that screen. And why as childhood survivors of abuse, we tend to carry this around and it perpetuates. So if you hold this, you'll notice that it perpetuates in your work. So say you're walking around all day and you're like, I don't deserve anything. I'm too this, I'm too that. And then what happens is those people in your work start saying the things that you're saying to yourself. It becomes an exterior problem and then you get you get that coming back to you and it affirms your own beliefs in yourself and what happens? You get hurt again and again and again. You don't make as much money again and again and again. And so we are going to be opening up the channels of your energy field today to receive more. Exactly. You create your own reality through distorted lenses. Hello, Lululemon. And then, then that reality shows up and then you get mad at yourself for creating that reality. You get mad at yourself for, for that, right? You blame, you self-blame. And this happens across the board. This happens in a childlike form. And then when we grow up like this and we weren't allowed to grow up, say that you were parentified, you were forced to grow up too soon, what happens is you have this un... <clears throat> unfiltered ability to to see how things agree with us we all do right so that's why narcissists you know if in the they're telling themselves oh i'm such a badass i'm the best i'm amazing and this and that especially covert narcissists the world will reflect that back to them right and so the people that are at home the people that are intimate with them the people that know their hearts they're like Oh, I I can't be with that. I can't. Why doesn't anybody else see how mean he is? Why doesn't anybody else see how abusive he is? Why doesn't anybody else see how, how nasty and shrill she is? Why doesn't anybody else see how badly they treat me? Nobody will believe that she's so mean. Nobody believes that she's so mean to me, right? So this happens in our reality um um this happens in our reality because of this mirror effect so we're going to heal your relationship with your body your physical body yourself because what happens first is when you're popping in and out of your reality when you're giving away your power right you cannot really shift and heal in a way that's going to last forever. So what sets amazing you? What sets working with alternative medicine? What sets working with people that work with somatic practices more makes us more effective than just thought therapy, talk therapy? What makes it more effective than going and changing another relationship and getting it with the next person or finding the next job? and actually change things so you stop creating the same pattern in your life over and over again. You stop creating people that you want to say, oh, you're the most beautiful, beautiful human being ever. You you are the kindest person, right? And, and going, well, why don't you think I'm kind? Why don't you think I'm beautiful? When in your head you're saying, well, I'm such a bitch and I fucking can't do anything right and I'm just a fat fucking cow and I don't know, nobody loves me, right? When you're saying this to yourself, you're going to attract the person that's going to gaslight you and tell you everything that you want at first because you'll be like, oh, I've been dying to hear this. Somebody believes in me. But then you'll not change the way that you talk to yourself internally and that person's going to come around and eventually affirm you because of their own sickness, not because of you. If that makes sense. But you will then go, oh, well, see, I knew. I knew I didn't have the right to do that. Um, they don't um, truly like themselves. So it's interesting how um, their home environment still reflects their true feelings back to them. Yeah, but their exterior environment, right, doesn't. Right? So it's it's... We can have it both ways. Okay, but we're going to talk about your body today, the specific body, because what happens when you shift your relationship with, with your body is you have um, 
tremendous, tremendous success in, in just feeling better. Tremendous success in feeling better. So we're going to get you into your body and why that's important. I'm trying to turn this. I want it to be higher, but it's not. Ugh. But it's not higher, so I can't really look at you face to face. It looks like I'm looking down. Um, and I don't want to look down. And I want to look straight, but I can't. <clears throat> All right. So we're just going to start this talk because I don't have too much time before I go and do my other live, which is only going to be 10 minutes. Because <laughs> this practice is a really... Um, it's really important. So why I begin helping people heal from trauma by working with their physical bodies is when your essence, when you can change your thoughts as much as you want, you can go to as much therapy as you want. You probably know people, maybe yourself, how long have you been in therapy, right? If you're willing to put it down there, but think to yourself, like, how long have you been in therapy? Hello, Kay. How long have you been wanting to feel great in your skin, not have anxiety, not, um, hey, hey, Shazmi, welcome, um, not have pain in your body, not have chronic pain in your knees, not have chronic pain in your shoulders, not have tight hips, not have jaw issues, right? How long have you wanted to feel better in your skin? How long have you wanted to 20 years in therapy? Yeah. So sometimes, right, but have you gotten progress? Maybe a little bit, but oftentimes those patterns just keep showing up, just keep showing up, keep showing up. Because when we change something in our brains, right, when we change even our understanding of something, if you understand it, but you don't embody it in your body, it won't last. It will not last. You cannot do it. You can, you can, and you can go and you can do a spiritual practice, right? You can go to a shaman, you can go to church, you can meditate every day, but until your essence feels comfortable in your body, it's not going to change your living situation. It's not going to help you set boundaries. It's not going to um, create more money for you. It's not going to help you um, do, do any of that, right? Oh, good. I'm happy you got progress six years ago, right? But six years still, it's like, oh, how, I know that you have that, the DIT, but it's like, how long, right? How long is it till you feel some sense of self in, within? You have one in your, in your body, in your awareness. How long till the pain goes away? How long till you feel comfortable in your skin? It's not going to happen through therapy, okay? It's not going to happen through talking about it. It's not going to happen really even through changing your mind until you feel comfortable, until your ego, until your consciousness, until your identity feels comfortable being in your body, until your identity feels comfortable being in your body, whether you have one identity or multiple personalities, because I know that we have a couple people in here with DID, but until everybody feels comfortable in the skin that you're in and you actually want to be here. Many people with childhood abuse, we have SI, we have suicide ideation. And so, or I said that wrong. I whispered the wrong one. Ah, no, TikTok doesn't get mad at me, but we have, we have that, right? And so that's all part of it. We get to heal this. We get to heal this and have a relationship with your body. Since I was eight, I'm now 31, um, only got progress less than a year ago. Yes, hey, Jazzy. Like, I worked with somebody for one year. If you don't have a serious, serious disorder, like I'm working, like DID, really. I'm, if I'm working with more than one person uh, within a unit, then one more than one consciousness within a unit, more than one timeline within a unit, or with somebody who's just like, I'm refusing to do the work, right? I don't want to. Like a rebellious teenager, I have some clients that are like, I don't want to do the work. I don't want to be vulnerable. I don't want to do any of that, right? 
in that essence, like it can take longer than, than a few months, but for three months, from three months to a year, I'm gonna poof, like totally and completely transform your life. I'm gonna help you really transform your life. And it begins with embodiment. It begins with getting comfortable in your own skin. So then you have a home to invite your power back to, to invite your memories back to, to invite everything back to, right? Can we keep our home safe from vulnerability? Can we keep our, um, our self safe from viruses in the world or other people's actions or having an accident? Sometimes, yeah, sometimes we can at least do what we need to do to take care of it and then, and then, it, and then left. Yeah, caused by trauma. Yep, anything caused by trauma, I can help. Anything caused by trauma, anything caused by trauma. Yes, and most disorders, most quote unquote mental disorders are caused by trauma. And they're perpetuated by drugs. Okay, they're, perf they're perpetuated by the system. The system I'm part of, but the system. Hello, Maddie. So there are six parts. Okay, there are six parts of you. And I talk about them all the time. But if you don't know, my name is Dr. Lisha Antica. I am a transpersonal therapist and I help my clients heal in a year or less from anxiety, depression, um, disassociation. I'm trying to think of like the different words. Some bipolar, okay, trauma-induced bipolar, trauma-induced ND, trauma-induced BPD, trauma-induced... Um, self-shame, SI, all those things in a year or less. Why? Because I help you find yourself. And there's a system to find yourself. I didn't create the system. God did, right? And we have studied it for millennia. So I studied originally and I learned about my own consciousness through um, the ancient yogis because honestly, they just studied it better. They have studied consciousness. And I wrote a book um, which is not down here, of course, it's upstairs, but, um, I wrote a book and you can read all about the yoga sutras in the Bible. And I studied it in relationship to the human consciousness and what makes you a human, what makes you unique, what do you actually have control and power over, right? And what don't you, and how do we take that? I was talking to one of my young clients this morning and she, you know, is really struggling, struggling because she's going through a period of her life where she's growing up. She's becoming an adult. Yet her own trauma growing up, she still wants to be a child. She's still waiting for mommy to love her. She's still waiting for um, her childhood because she didn't get a freaking childhood. Okay. She didn't get a childhood, so she's waiting on it. Now she's just turning 18, but she's she's waiting on this child. And at the same time, she's declaring to her parents, but I'm, I'm an adult now, right? And threatening to leave. And she's almost graduated from high school, but she's threatening to leave. And yet yeah, she's like, I, she doesn't have a car. She doesn't have a license. She doesn't know how to get a job. She doesn't know how to do anything because she's also refused to grow up because she didn't get a childhood. It makes perfect sense. So at some point, she turned around and she said, I am going to have more power than them. They have power and control over me, right? I have to do what mommy says. I have to do what daddy says. Don't say anything. Da, da, da. Like all the triggers I could give you, she had all of the triggers. She had all of the abuse, right? She got into help when she was young, but all of the things. And so there's six areas of your life. There's six areas of consciousness that you have power over, that you have power over, that when we go through trauma, they get blown out. That's what I said about the six things, okay? And when we grow up, we're supposed to learn how to have power and control over these six things, and we don't. And when we don't, that's when the issue comes. And there's a form in each of these six things, I have found six elements that 
when you reclaim these elements, when you get clear on who and how you want to take care of yourself in these six areas, which I teach within the courses, then you will masterfully feel good about who you are. When you have your body in mastery, right? It doesn't mean you can't get sick. It doesn't mean everything is perfect. It doesn't mean you're like ideal weight. It's, it's not about that. It's about this is my vessel. This is my home. This is where I want to live, right? No matter what somebody did to it, it is mine and nobody can take that away from me. When you get that back, then the therapy that you've done is going to take hold. Then the um, emotional work and the emotions that you're feeling will make sense. You'll be able to process your emotions rather than stuffing them and your body will be able to release them, which means less weight, less pain, less issues, less chronic illness. Okay. A lot of autoimmune diseases go away. They get less and less and less prominent or you like, you just find a doctor that's all of a sudden like listens and is going to heal it. You get off the meds or on the meds or like whatever you need to do. Those answers start coming to you when you claim your vessel, when you're not claiming your vessel and you're mad at your vessel for having emotions stored in it, for the body keeping the score, for all the reasons why we have inflammation, why we have pain, why we have autoimmune diseases. All of that is emotional. All of it. Is emotional and mental beliefs when you stop telling yourself I don't want to be here I hate my body I'm so sick and tired of this I'm sick and tired I'm sick and tired then those words are gonna create that right yeah it's it's, uh, it's not even my truth I literally have proven it to myself proven it to thousands of clients I've been doing this with clients this particular piece, Amazing Body, which I'm going to share with you, I began training coaches in it, okay? Training yoga teachers and coaches in it when I was in my 20, 30s, I guess. It was 2007, okay? So this, this has been through a lot of different changes, a lot of different people. And, and so there's six areas. We're going to primarily talk about the first area today, Right? But if you keep following me, and especially if you join Amazing You, I will, you'll be the first to come and do the second area, and the third area, and the fourth area, and the fifth area, and the sixth area. Okay, All of these areas, there's actually seven areas. There's always seven. But the other one, the overlying one, is your essence. It's your actual consciousness, your AKA soul. Okay, That part of you that is uniquely you, that's going to be you even after this vessel is gone, that part of you that when trauma happens, gets kind of the body, the ego, okay, the physical body, the mental mind, the emotions, the ego kicks it out and is like, Ugh, right, and, and protects it. You want to feel in your body. You want to feel in charge of your life. You want to feel in control again. Then this, this is going to be the ticket. And today I am, um, I have a super, super special offer for you guys because one, I'm moving and I want as many people to have this this year as possible. Um, while I have space and two, because in a group setting, I know that we can get so much more done and I'm revamping the program because I know more now than I did five years ago when I originally um, put together the current online program. I've rewritten the book, I've rewritten everything. Now it's time to like, we're gonna do daily classes. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cool. Anyway, so I'm gonna revamp it. So I have it for sale because I'm revamping this award-winning program. 2012, I got America's Premier Expert for this program in self-care and self-healing. Okay, this was even before I was a PhD. Okay, so where were we? Emotional body, okay, so that's three. That's three of the parts to answer your question. So the six things, Jazzy, we have your physical body, mental body, emotional body, right? You have your etheric field. This is your vibration. This is actually what attracts your reality. This is also how, what you perceive is your reality. This is also your soul's lessons, your life lessons. This is who and what has authority in your life. It's the mirror, okay? We shift the mirror. We shift things. You reclaim authority in your life, but you can't do this until... You have a life. 
You can't do this until you form your own beliefs. You can't do this effectively. You can do it like hit and miss manifest until your emotions are on par. Once you have these things in check, right? And you're owning yourself, you like yourself, then this, then this works. Then we have who you are in relationship. Who do you present in the world? And your purpose. Okay, and this is really your relationship with value and money. The more I'm finding out about it. It's your relationship with value. The value of your life, the value of your, your gifts, the value of what you want. So, <clears throat> we're going to talk today, though, about the importance of being able to embody yourself. This means restructuring your nervous system if you've gone through trauma. Yeah. Yes. So transpersonal psychology actually was born from Maslow. Okay. And, and the hierarchy of needs, right? So if you're stuck in that survival, right? Meaning just stuck in the survival mode, whether it's just not enough, not enough of whatever, then it's very hard to live that thriving life. But if you have no sense of self, you can't even get to Maslow. There's nothing to get. And what I've learned from working with so many survivors of abuse is that there is no sense of self. That's why there's a personality disorders come out of this. That's why, you know, we have mood disorders that come out of this. That's why we have anxiety and depression because we don't know who we are. And if somebody we love or somebody we respect comes at us and says, well, you aren't who I want you to be. Okay. Especially a parent over and over and over again. And we take that to heart. We never had the chance. You never had the chance to decide who you wanted to be and approve of yourself. So you're constantly seeking for approval from the outside world. And what that does is leaves you endlessly in a state of pity, endlessly in a state of survival, endlessly going, well, you're not allowed to treat me that way, endlessly struggling. And that's what the Amazing You system breaks. So is this sounding good to you guys? We break that habit. We break it. We complete it. Is this sounding good? Are you understanding any questions thus far? Nice, Jazzy. Good. Yes, you guys are understanding any questions. Okay, no questions so far. Hello, pink. All right, so let's just talk about the body. It's very important to be able to be in your own skin. And when we disassociate, whether we disassociate because we were physically hit, we disassociate because we were sick, we disassociated because um, we were being yelled at and it was too much. Whatever system was breaking, if you have one accident, okay, one, one accident that caused PTSD, then uh, one part of your system breaks. If you have CPTSD, then I explain it a little bit different. With CPTSD, multiple systems break. So when we have trauma, we have these six systems, right? We have the six parts of consciousness. When one breaks, we have PTSD. And what happens is your consciousness leaves this area and you feel disassociated from it. Okay? So say that you're disassociated, you had emotional abuse. Okay? And the emotional abuse was just emotional. So they told you, oh, you're so smart and you're so wonderful, right? But then they'd yell all the time and, and, um, and you just emotionally never felt safe. You had to just be perfect, okay? So you had to be this perfect little box, but, emotion, but mentally they were like, you are so smart. You are wonderful. You are a good person. But you had to be this like perfect person. And so emotionally you had 
you're not allowed to be angry. You're not allowed to be upset. You're not allowed to anything. So you're taught to emotionally abandon yourself, emotionally disassociate. That would be one PTSD. Now, when we're put through multiple types of abuse, so sexual abuse is one that covers all six. It is physical, it is mental, it is emotional, it is spiritual, okay? You can, can't put those pieces together, okay? So it's etheric, it's energy. It is definitely in relationship, and it's definitely about value, right? Sex is definitely big value, sex sells. And so we have all six busted. One incident, of sexual abuse, in my opinion, causes CPTSD because if done as it normally is, the person no longer wants to be in their body. They don't feel safe in their skin. Somebody took their body. Somebody took advantage of them. They no longer feel like they have control over their body and they don't want to be in it. If you can relate to this, say I, put an I in there. Mentally, they don't know what happened. They couldn't get themselves out. They don't trust themselves in that situation anymore. And they're like, okay, I'm, I'm out. I, I, the consciousness is like, I don't know how to take care of this person anymore. So I, I'm not even going to think for myself. And what starts happening is you start going, can I have permission to do that? Can I have permission to do that? Is it going to be okay for me to do this? You start asking everybody else's permission, whether it's your best friend, your mom, your dad, your boss, right? Somebody else. You're no longer allowed to grow up. So if this happens and you're a kid, you're just not allowed to grow up. Then three, emotionally, okay? You're not allowed to feel. You are forced to feel, right? You are forced to look something way. You have to feel a certain way. You're controlled emotionally. You can't trust your emotions anymore because you weren't supposed to like it or you weren't supposed to not like it, right? You can't win with these sexual abusers. And so you have, you have this, this effect and you disassociate from that. Then you can't control your world. So your etheric realm is really your world, right? Can, where do you, where's your space? Where's their space? Who has authority? What has authority over you? If you have no authority over your world, especially as a child, we have very little anyway, um, and you're not given any authority and then it was taken away from you, <coughs> then you have a disassociation in this field. Your three primary self, your sense of self, those four primary parts of you, are no longer safe, okay? Let alone, who are you in relationship? You're gonna turn into whoever they need you to be, right? You'll either do it in a borderline way, a toxic empath way, or you'll do it in a narcissistic controlling way. Either way, same problem. Two, what's your purpose? You're either going to work, 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 and be a little slave that you are. You might make great money, you might do fantastic, or you're going to be incapable of working and feel worthless. And depending on what you think that value is and your relationship with money, that's how much money you're going to make. Okay? And it's an ongoing, ongoing thing. So in order to heal relationships and your purpose with PTSD or CPTSD or any trauma, it's about making sure that you can come back to your skin. So we start with your physical body. We reprogram your nervous system, okay? We get you on good habits. We clean up your diet and your food because it matters. We make sure that you're drinking enough water because it matters. We um, look at your environment, right? Who you're around, what matters, what's in your space. What's in your space and why? Are you powerfully choosing what's in your space? All right, we go through all of this. It's very unique. It's gonna be fantastic in the group. And, and we look at your genome. We look at your genes. We look at, at your family history. We look at all that because it's important because your genes also have an effect on, on your body. Your genes very much, right? You have an effect on your body. So you can prevent... So you can take care of your body. Prevention medicine is taking care of your body the way that it needs to be taken care of, which is unique to you. 
I can tell you how I take care of my body, but it's not going to matter to you. You have a different body. You have a different genome. You have different habits. You have different likes and dislikes. If I just teach you from a book, there's tons of books on how to heal. You guys, there's tons of books on how to do this. None of them. And I mean, none of them really go, well, what's best for me? They don't teach you how to put together your own book, your own book of wisdom. Okay. So any questions first on, on that, because we need to reprogram your nervous system. We need to get you in safety. Then we're going to change your, the way that you talk to your body. We have so much anger at our body for not being thin enough, thick enough, strong enough, dense enough, whatever it is enough, right? So much, so much pain. So any questions there before I invite you all to this re-embodiment. Once we, once you do this piece though, once you have those, those pieces put together and you have a different relationship with your body, it doesn't have to be perfect does not have to be perfect. Your body doesn't have to be healthy. You know, it's, it's intention, intention, intention. It's trusting yourself. It's knowing yourself. Once you have that and we begin to heal that, then, then we go into amazing mindset. Okay. And we'll start shifting the beliefs and shifting the subconscious mind and working through the trauma. Okay. Um, but not until then. Because if you don't have a safe space to come home, if you don't like the form you're in, or at least accept the form you're in, it doesn't matter how much mindset work you do. You're still going to be out in the ethers. It doesn't matter how much meditation you do. You're still going to be over there. If you hate the environment that you live in, it's going to be very hard to heal no matter what. I always say you got to get out of the toxic relationship first. The sad thing is for many children, survivors of abuse, we are the toxic relationship with ourselves. If we're not being abused externally, we will do it to ourselves at school. It's cool. I got you, boo. I will either create havoc with somebody else, not anymore, but I used to, or I would abuse myself. Some people do it through cutting. Some people do it through overworking. Some people do it through drug abuse. Some people do it through eating disorders. Some people do it through negative self-talk. Some people do it through um, perfectionism. Some people do it through, um, you know, putting yourself in nasty situations. Some people do it through losing yourself in others and trying to constantly save other people because you're too scared to look at yourself, right? So it's all about them and, you're, and how selfless and wonderful you are. <laughs> I, I did that. I did that for years. I was selfless and wonderfully codependent for years, trying to help others and help others and help others all while in a toxic relationship, all while suffering, right? That was 10 years ago. It had to end in order for me to be effective and help here. So does anybody want to know about the journey itself and amazing you? Would anybody want to join the next group today? Hello, hello. Yeah, it had to end. Exactly. Because I want to share it with you, but um, yes. Thank you, Maddie. Yes. So I want to share it with you because it's an offer. <sighs> this year, I... I really was like, okay, I'm going to learn how to sell because I want more people to have this. We don't have to take forever to heal. I'm so sick of the system. I'm so sick of it. But we have to heal in an order because you, your mindset, your brain needs to work with your body. And if it's still at that perpetual trauma war, it's going to be almost impossible to heal. Your emotions need to be able to leave your body. And if your body is still holding on for dear life to your emotions because you don't it doesn't feel safe feeling yet, right? Because you don't feel safe in your body. You don't trust yourself with your own body. Then it's going to be really, really challenging to heal. It just takes longer. It's definitely possible, but it takes longer. Once you know that you 
have emotions, you're not emotions, you have thoughts, you are not thoughts, that all shifts, but it won't shift until you feel comfortable in your skin. So how do we get comfortable in our skin? This is my proposal to you because it's not something I can sell because if you're not ready for it, I don't want you in the group. If you don't want to heal, I don't want you in the group. If you don't want to take action, I don't want you in the group. Why? Because I want you to have success. I want you to actually heal. And I want you to move on to amazing mindset. And if you don't do the work or you come in needing therapy, right? And not a group, you can get therapy with it. Okay. Um, but and not a group, then it, it just won't work. So to know if this is gonna work with you, two things have to happen. One, you have a willingness to heal your relationship with your body. That's it, just a willingness. And two, you're willing to give me 10 minutes a day and an hour a week. Maybe an hour and 20, because you have one video to watch. 10 minutes a day and an hour a week for six weeks. So that's the first thing. You have to have those two things. A willingness to love your body. Just a willingness. You can hate it right now. And you can disassociate all the time. You can zone out and disassociate. Is Nikki on here? Um, no, it will not cause an issue with your personal therapy. If anything, it will help your personal therapy become more effective for you. You will actually begin embodying that. I don't need to be your therapist to do this. This is another thing. I do not need to be your therapist to do this. This is for people that are one in therapy with somebody else. Okay. That, um, are just out of therapy, been tried therapy for a long time, sick of it, want to try something new and are ready to not disassociate so much, not have an issue with, with their, their anxiety too much start forming their grounded self-realization, right? This is part one of six parts. Start forming that and, and begin healing your relationship with your body. This is for you. Now, you will most likely, this, these are some of the side effects of this course, okay? Very important. If you are not, if you are not open to having better skin and feeling better in your skin, like physically better skin and losing weight or gaining weight it happens both ways. Um, don't do this. Don't do it. Okay. Um, if you are not willing to begin listening to your body and it's wisdom, right? If you want to hang on to the aches and pains in your shoulders and like blame it on something other than the trauma in your childhood, right? If, if you want to blame your knee pain on, on bad genetics, but not take responsibility for your genetics and, and learn about epigenetics and how you can change your genome, like, like don't, don't do this. <laughs> right. Um, if you're not willing to maybe clean house and get rid of some shit, so you're not carrying down with the, the boulders and, um, and just have talks. If you're not willing to detox stuff around you, don't do this. <laughs> not calling out my sh shoulders, Sally says. Not calling out my shoulders. Okay, so what's going to happen is I do 10 people per group. And why I do 10 people is because um, you won't always be able to make it to the live events every week. And I understand that. We're going to have them on Fridays and Mondays. Um, but... 10 people per group so I can coach each of you, okay? This is a coaching program. I will work with you. You all have online access to an online program, okay, that you get immediate access to when you sign up today. You also get um, every single day, we're going to be doing somatic practices together. You will have a replay of those somatic practices. They're going to be in our free group, Unstoppable Confidence. Yes, I'm giving those to the entire group. One, because they're only a tiny piece of the puzzle. Um, they help a lot. Um, I might even do them live on here, but the replays will be in that group. Um, and they'll take like five, five, ten minutes. Okay. But 
what they do is they will work with the longer practices that are already in the program, the yoga practices in the program, and we're going to reattune and realign your body so you know how to move in space, you have more sensors in space, you kind of start trusting yourself in space. We don't trust ourselves in space because we've been exiting our bodies for so long, preserving our lives, okay? Especially if you were abused as a child. I don't know about you, but I remember most of my childhood looking down, right? I have other clients who just feel like they're like in the bottom of their foot. They have gout, actually. A lot of my clients with gout, they're they're here or they're in their pelvis, right? And they have pelvic issues where they're just like down there and they just like, when we find their consciousness, they're just like hiding out. Okay, so I accept 10 people into the program. Um, and so the first 10 of you that register, you get this deal after that, it's it's complete. I will open up. I'll do multiple groups if need be because I have more time. Um, but but there'll only be 10 people per group. Um, that will be your group. And so there'll be, there'll be support. And I have failed at running many groups. Um, it will not because, because of this, because people turned it into a therapy session. If you need a therapy session, you will get a special discount to schedule sessions with me, okay? For um, the regular price of the session is, one session is the regular price of this group in whole. So get it for a little bit less than that for being in the group if you choose to move on to private sessions. Um, other than that, you can take it to your therapist, okay? Um, you can journal it out, you can work it out, you can do it that way. Is this sounding, sounding good? So we meet every day for 10 minutes. You'll have online work. And then once a week for six weeks, we're going to meet for an hour. And you'll get that Q&A, special support, anything that comes up. We will work on it. We're going to be really focused on being in your body. And you'll have weekly mini assignments to clean out and detox your life so you're more happier in your skin, both your physical skin, as well as your environment, your home area. Do you guys want to know even more? Okay, so you get a workbook, you get a yoga practice, you get um, a video series, six video series, you get daily touch-ins, and you get six weeks of coaching with me. Normally, this is six seventy one. Okay, normally six seventy one. It's worth a lot more than that if you go to any other programs or work with any other doctors, um, or even take a yoga class for two months. Right, go to a gym and do everyday yoga, <laughs> focused on getting in your body for two months, and ask them how much that is. <laughs> And you get a nutritionalist. I am a licensed, well, I'm not licensed anymore. I let my license lapse because <laughs> it was too much. But I was a licensed nutritionalist for a long time. So we're going to do that. We're going to be working with your diet and nutrition. So you don't have to hire a nutrition either. Today, you get it for $333. The entire thing. $333 is the investment. And I think I even have a two-pay option. You're going to click on my photo there. You're going to be clicking on um, the link underneath my bio and join amazing body. It's that top link in my link tree. You can also go to my website, lishaantica.com and go to courses, click on amazing body and join through there. Okay. Thanks you guys. I cannot wait to talk to you more. Talk to you soon.